Fate wins it three to one. It was a you know tremendous atmosphere to be a part of. Uh, just having your family and friends in the stands, uh, it's unbelievable. But it's even uh, I think it just shows a better win for the team. Uh, it's a tough building to play in, and I, I think we showed our resilience and came out with three points. We were able to you know feed off their energy and uh, just uh, be able to you know play in an atmosphere like that uh, and in a way building. Uh, it's something that not many players get to experience, so it was really cool to play as well as we played in the second period and to be down two nothing. That was, that was frustrating, but. Uh, we really kept pushing and, and had a, a, another really good third period. Just weren't able to, to get one to tie it up there. You know. It was obviously a huge night for Brendan Fury, and he had a huge cheering section. John Monk has more on the homecoming for the St. Francis crowd. It's been a very roundabout journey for Brendan Fury to play hockey here at BGSU. Initially coming out of high school, he thought his entire collegiate career was going to be here at the club level. But now that he's made Minnesota State, he's back in Northwest Ohio playing BGSU tonight with a full fan section cheering him on. It's not often a visiting team has this many fans at the BG Ice Arena, let alone all for one visiting player. Brendan Ferry was going to enroll at BG after high school, but then joined a summer hockey league. He then caught the eye of junior teams and eventually landed a spot on the roster of the top-ranked hockey team in the country, Minnesota State. And just kept moving up the ranks. And where he is now, it's just an unbelievable experience. He did this all. I mean, he just one day said, I'm not done, and, and here he is. Those who knew him in high school aren't surprised with his meteoric rise to this level and many of them were in attendance tonight, happy to make the 20 minute drive to BG compared to the 10 hour drive up north. In high school, he really wanted to go to that next step and he kept asking us, what do I need to work on? What do I need to do? And he has never stopped and you know, he's got great coaches along the way. Coming into tonight, Brendan has seven goals and 23 assists, making himself a valuable player for the Mavericks. And those in attendance watching him tonight know Brendan has more to accomplish on the ice. I mean, look at our family. It's all these people here for him. I mean, I couldn't be more excited for him. A lot of people are a lot of pressure, but I think he's going to do good tonight. And what better way to end a homecoming in front of your friends and family than with a goal? <laughs> Reporting in Bowling Green, I'm John Monk, WTOL 11.